Hello and welcome to Why Not Mint Money. I am Deepthi Bhaskaran and today in our last session of Excel calculations, we are going to learn how to calculate the amount you need to invest to reach a future financial goal. Understanding how much to invest is important when you are clear about your financial goal. Of course, what you need is the time period and the rate of return. So suppose you need a corpus of 20 lakh rupees at the end of 10 years and you are willing to park your money in a product with a rate of return of 8%. What you want to know is how much you should invest every year to reach your financial goal. So you go to the effects on Excel, select financial and in that select PMT. Rate of return is 8%. NPER or time period is 10 years and the future value is 20 lakh. Again, since we want to make investments in the beginning of the year, we select 1 in type and press OK. So you will need to invest about 1,27,832 every year for 10 years to reach a financial goal of 20 lakh rupees. Please note that the figure of PMT is in negative, indicating a cash outflow or the amount you will need to set aside. But what if you don't want to make a recurring investment, but a one-time investment? As mentioned in the previous episodes, a lump sum investment is indicated by the present value on Excel. And so on the Excel calculator, you will need to look for PV instead of PMT. Select cells to key in the numbers, rate is 8%, time period or NPER is 10 and the future value is 20 lakh. Type is 1 indicating investments are made at the beginning of the year. Press OK. So you will need to invest 9,26,387 rupees to accumulate 20 lakh over a 10 year period at a rate of 8%. So far, we have learned about investments you need to make as a lump sum or as yearly investments. But what if you want to do monthly investments, say through the systematic investment route, and want to understand the amount you will need to invest every month in order to reach your financial goal? Well, Excel has answers to that too. The future value remains 20 lakh. Your NPER or the time period in this case is 120 months because this is the number of months you want to invest for. And since we are looking at PMT in months, we have to break down the annual rate into the monthly rate as well. You need to put an equal to sign when you're doing direct calculations on Excel. You put an equal to sign here, followed by 8%, which is divided by 12 to get the monthly rate. Here you go. Now you need to calculate for PMT. Again, go to FX, select Financial and select PMT. Select B4 for rate, time period is 120 months or cell B3 and the future value is 20 lakh. And the type is 1 indicating you're investing in the beginning of the month. Here you go. So you will need to invest 10,860 rupees every month to reach your financial goal. You can also calculate the time by selecting the NPR calculator to understand the time you will need to reach a financial goal once you know how much you can invest and the amount that you want at a specified rate of return. Do make use of these calculations to declutter your investments. These are powerful tools that will help you understand and plan your money life better. That's it from Why Not Mint Money. Have a good day.